Okay, fam, welcome back. So today we're gonna be talking about crypto. This is a live video. Okay, y'all, so look, here's the deal, okay? Like, I don't care if you're conservative, I don't care if you're liberal, I don't care what your affiliation is politically. Everybody's welcome here at the channel, okay? If you wanna come here and talk about money, that's great, let's do that, okay? Everybody here is trying to make money and get rich. That's kind of the whole point of this, the, the whole point of this channel, the whole point of us talking about the crypto space and dividend paying ETFs. The whole point of us in this space is that everybody's welcome. Everybody can be here. Just be civil about it. Okay. All right. So here's kind of what I'm expecting for the crypto bull run um, in terms of price. Okay. And in terms of timing. So bullish seasonality is coming right around the corner. Everybody that's been in the space for a long time, we all know that the likelihood that Bitcoin is going up in Q4 of this year is extremely high, okay? Bitcoin usually goes up during Q4. As a matter of fact, Bitcoin's bottom during the bear market of 2022 was in October, okay? <laughs> it was in October. So Bitcoin actually went up from the bear market lows in November and December of 2022. So even in a bear market year, crypto is actually still very bullish. So I'm expecting Bitcoin to go to all time highs, okay? Um, sometime probably between December of this year, which is what happened last cycle in uh, 2020, in 2020 in December, and then Bitcoin will smash to all time highs, probably top out sometime between March and May of next year. And then we're gonna see a massive alt season, okay? Uh, do I think that the Fed's going to keep printing money? Uh, yeah. Well, I should say cutting rates and printing money. Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, look, it's it's pretty simple when it comes to the economics and the Fed funds rate. Um, the higher the rate is, the more expensive it is to borrow money. Uh, you know, people can't afford stuff out here, man. I mean, I, I can afford stuff because, you know, I'm an investor, a trader. Uh, that's kind of what we do. Okay, that's what we do. We make money. Uh, we're, well, basically my heritage is from New York, so I'm actually a New Yorker, believe it or not. I'm from a, a deep blue state, New York, right? Well, Trump is actually from New York, just so y'all know. He was born and raised there. I believe he was born in Queens, so he was also formerly a Democrat. A lot of you probably don't know that. Um, but the altcoin season is coming. Okay. A lot of people are going to make a lot of money. It doesn't matter if you're in the grayscale trust. It doesn't matter if you're in altcoins. Uh, it doesn't matter what state you live in. Okay. You could live in a blue state or red state. If you're in crypto, you're probably going to make money. Okay. Uh, you know, crypto is very generous. It does not discriminate. If you have the money to get in and you know what you're doing and you know how to get an edge over the market, you're probably going to make a lot of money. Okay. You might make a 2X, you might make 20%, 50%, you might make a thousand percent. I mean, guys, you know, we made, I can't even remember how much it was. I think like a 60X on Dogecoin last cycle, about about 100 to $200 worth of Dogecoin. The thing went up to 12,000. Okay. Uh, again, I didn't know this was going to happen. I had no idea it was going to happen. I knew that crypto was going to go up, but I didn't think it was going to go up that much. Okay. Uh, and again, it's easy. It's even, it's easy even for seasoned traders and investors like myself to be like, holy crap, dude, this thing is doing 100x. Like, what the hell is going on? I wish I would have bought more. It's easy even for people that have been in this space for a long time or in other spaces for a long time to underestimate these moves, okay? So big picture, here's what I see happening, okay? Bitcoin's gonna start pushing back up. All coins are probably gonna push up between October to December of this year, okay? We're gonna get good data for jobs, the Fed's going to continue to cut rates, which makes life more affordable for the everyday person. Okay, most average people don't have a thousand dollars in the bank. Uh, that puts a lot of people in a lot of bad, in a lot of bad situations they don't want to be in. Okay, so when the Fed cuts rates, that makes it more affordable for people on the less fortunate end of the spectrum to be able to afford life again. Okay, and it makes things on the more affluent end of the spectrum to be able to make more money again. Okay. So a lot of that $6 trillion that's just sitting in those money market funds making 5% interest, okay, it's not a lot, they're going to pour over, in my opinion, 
either before or at the time of the convergence of um, basically the savings rate. Uh, once the savings rate gets below the amount of money that savings rates pay below uh, inflation, let, like let's say inflation's at 3% currently and the Fed funds rate hits like probably 3 to 4% in that range, boom, money's going to start flowing out of there. It's going to go back into risk on assets, stocks and crypto, okay? Crypto is going to go to the moon. So I think all that's going to happen. I think as the Fed's cutting rates, employers are going to see that. They're going to say, okay, let's go borrow some more money since they're cutting rates and go hire more people, okay? And the job market's going to expand. That's what I think is going to happen. And it's going to happen pretty quick. It's not going to be a long time. It's going to be like maybe a month or two before this starts, okay? Uh, maybe a quarter at the most, because again, businesses operate on a quarterly basis. They don't operate on a yearly basis like regular taxpayers do. Okay. Um, so all that's going to happen. Uh, money's going to become cheaper to borrow. People are going to borrow more money to invest or pay bills or do, reorganize their life, whatever they're going to do. Okay. Um, and then in addition to that, okay, so we'll get the crypto bull run Stocks will probably be at new all-time highs by the end of the year. I mean, yeah, I know. Okay, people like Warren Buffett, they're like, oh, you have all this cash. Guys, Warren Buffett is 95 years old, okay? He's ancient at this point. I, I like Warren Buffett. I think he's a smart dude, okay? He knows exactly what he's doing. He's very good at what he does. But he's 95. He's not, he's not trying to lose his money, okay? <laughs> and he's been through a lot of these... Fed cycles before. Um, look, I'm telling y'all what I think is going to happen this time is different. Okay. Markets are actually going to go up. We're going to get the non-recession scenario as a result of the Fed cutting rates. I think, look, I'm just going to say it flat out. I think Warren Buffett's going to be off the mark on this one. It's not that he's not good at what he does. He's just betting on a circumstance that in my opinion is not going to play out. Okay. Um, because again, the narrative and the powers that be, they want something different to happen this time. They don't want things to go to the gutter like they did before because there's consequences for everybody for that for wealthy people and non-wealthy people alike okay um so all that's going to happen okay in my opinion everybody that's in grayscale everybody that's in crypto they're going to make fortunes okay if we don't buy another if if we don't buy another dime worth of crypto we're going to make a lot of money we're going to make like two three hundred thousand dollars so not too worried about it uh we already have plenty of money. So it's just adding to the pot at this point. But if you guys look, if you guys don't want to get in now because you're worried about a recession, I would totally understand that. Some people just want to sit on the sidelines. They want to do nothing. Okay. They're worried about a recession. They're of the fear mentality. That's great. Okay. But crypto is an opportunistic, opportunistic mentality kind of game. If you want to make money in crypto, you got to be willing to risk money in crypto. It's no different than dividend paying stocks. Okay. Even when you put your money in a bank, there is a chance the bank could go bankrupt and then they end up paying, uh, <laughs> they end up using the money to try to bail themselves out or, you know, they do what's known as uh, fractional reserve banking. So they only pay you back a portion of your money if they can even afford to do it in the first place. So even if you have your money in a safe savings account, it's still a risk. Okay, you're getting 5%, but if you only get 10% of 100% of your money back, what's the point, right? So that's why I think that institutions of big money are going to flock back into the space much faster than people expect. Because they understand the longer the Fed keeps the rates higher for longer, the more at risk these banks are of collapse. Which means what? People that have their money deposited in the bank actually technically belongs to the bank. Myself included. Other people included that have money in the bank. Okay? So... You know, people that have money, they're going to move their money the hell out of there and be like, well, you know, Fed's cutting rates, stock, the markets are probably just going to keep going up. Let's just buy more. Put my money in the market. You know, I have control over my money there. I don't need to worry about whether <laughs> my money's going to get taken by the bank or not. I can just put it into some kind of dividend paying stock or something, you know, something besides just sitting on cash. So bottom line is, y'all, I think... In the coming months, the window is going to be closing to get cheap prices, okay? If you want the cheap prices, now they're here. They're not going to last forever, okay? Everybody says, oh, Bitcoin's going to a million, a billion, a zillion, a zillion dollars. Okay, that could happen, sure. But in my opinion, the four-year cycle still remains true, okay? We're probably likely still, even, even if stocks go to the moon for the next 10 years straight, okay? 
even if they go to the moon for the next 10 years straight. Likely, the crypto market is going to have a bear winter in 2026, okay? I'm not expecting this to change. Again, look, the, when, the whales, when the whales dump their bags, it has a negative effect on the markets, okay? When the whales are ready to take profit all the way at the peak, which again, this is how they think. I'm trying to tell you guys how this works, okay? They're dumping such large amounts of Bitcoin that it ends up tanking the price of Bitcoin. That, that's just basic money psychology trading 101, okay? And when that price dumps massively and you have the whales and retail getting out because whales are getting out because they're making money, they're like, screw this, I'm just gonna cash out, go get my stable coins, sit on stable coins and do nothing for like eight, 10, 12 months. And then when Bitcoin looks pretty cheap, you know, when it's based out and it looks like something I'd want to buy, I'll start just slowly nibbling back in and maybe eventually buy a huge amount at the bottom. The whales are not going to buy at the top. Uh, I mean, they, in some cases they do, okay? If they think the price is going higher, they like the setup is good, they'll probably buy. Okay, BlackRock and all them guys, they've been buying in this downward channel we've been seeing this entire time. Uh, they're They're not giving up the opportunity to make the money here, okay? So this downward bullish channel, descending channel, which again is a bullish pattern or falling broadening wedge, bull flag, descending channel, whatever you want to call it, it's all bullish, okay? Um, they're buying the dip on the, at the bottom of that channel. They're not going to waste this opportunity. Why? Because they want to load their bags before the price goes back up to new all-time highs, okay? That's what they're doing. That's just how it works in markets, guys. A lot of, a lot of, sometimes they'll dump it intentionally to buy at the bottom, okay? And sometimes they'll keep it confined in an area known as consolidation or accumulation with the intention of buying in that area before the price eventually gets pumped, okay? And I can't tell you the intricacies of how all this works because I don't know, okay? I can just tell you that as an experienced trader, this is usually the thing that I would look for, okay? So... If you guys want to get into crypto now, now's the time. The window's closing, y'all. <laughs> I mean, as soon as we see the Bitcoin dominance chart start falling off a cliff, that's going to be the end of it, okay? All coins are going to skyrocket if you missed your opportunity. Well, you're going to have to wait another four years. There's no guarantee that you're going to get another opportunity like what we saw in mid-2021 where the price just dumps mid, you know, mid-post-having year, and then we get another rip to the upside. There's no guarantee that could happen, Okay. This could be something more like 2017, where it just slowly, gradually, and more aggressively over time through the end of 2025 just goes up, okay? Or it could just go straight up. It could just keep aggressively going up for the next 12 months, and then the cycle's over, and then you got to wait another year and a half to buy at the bottom, and then you have to wait another year and a half after that, or year and a half to two years to be able to get, you know, some actual profit out of your positions, now, this, when, I, when I say this, I'm speaking to people that are looking to ride the wave, okay? You're looking three, four years out. You want to just make the big gains, 10, 20 X. You're just buying now to hold for the big gains, okay? You're not trying to day trade. You're not trying to position trade. You're not trying to do any of that stuff, okay? You're not trying to swing trade it. Some people swing trade crypto. That's fine. We've done it too. Uh, we're talking about the people that are hodlers, okay? They hodl. They hold to the moon. They sell their bags. If they sell their bags, some people don't. They just... I can't tell you all what to do, but guys, don't be that guy that, please don't be that guy that, you know, holds up 20, 30, 50 X and then never sells. And oh God, it's going to the moon. We're going to a zillion dollars, guys. We're all going to be rich. We're going to have private yachts, all that stuff. And then they take pictures of it. Oh, look at my cool gains. And I'm so, I'm so fly. I'm so fab. And then they watch their portfolio go down 90%, never sell a dime of their crypto. Don't be that guy. Okay. I can't tell you what to do. If you want to be that guy, be that guy, but I'm I'm just saying, look, if you want to get out of this better off than you were, you're going to have to be willing to take profits. And I can't force you to do that. You got to hit the sell button yourself. Nobody can do that for you. So um, I, I will tell you this right now. The opportunity is here. We have been waiting since basically... Oh God, how long has it been? We've been waiting since pretty much the peak of November of 2021. Okay. We, we sold out November, December of 2021, January, 2022, got out, sat in the market for seven months, did absolutely nothing. 
Okay, seven, eight months, somewhere in there, I did absolutely nothing, waited for Bitcoin to hit the bottom, started buying back in at those levels, and it still wasn't even the bottom. Because then you had the FTX collapse, which sent the price of Bitcoin from 22 to 16,000. So we bought at 22, thinking 20 was going to be the bottom. We'll explain that in a later video uh, when we go over the uh, bear market bottoms where we could be looking at bottom prices later in the future we'll go over that um and talk about how why we thought that 20k was going to be the bottom but uh roughly about 20k but yeah even we were wrong on that too and we still waited for seven eight months sat on cash and did nothing with the intention of buying crypto later on so uh opportunities here you guys can buy it if you want to if you choose not to well i mean you're sol there's nothing that anybody can do about that so uh, you can choose to load up and take profits at a point later in the future. Or you can choose to do nothing. That's entirely your choice. So anyways, I'll see y'all later.